Two teams, two eras are about to clash. Number one Miami plays number four Notre Dame. I truly believe it was the right place, right time, and the right era. Inside the stadium, it's the toughest ticket in sport this weekend. It was the perfect storm under the Golden Dome. It was electric in the city. The headlines say it all. South Bend was the center of the college football universe on October 15th, 1988. You got to remember, 36 game winning streak for Miami. The intimidation that, that supposedly they tried to, you know, uh, portray and when they're when they're you know taking the field etc and then you had Notre Dame the upstart they had all this background and, and history and Miami just ignored all of that yeah Miami looking back over the years they had reputations of bad boys but they were great great players great program they were exciting for college football but we were pretty bad ourselves a heavyweight bout for the ages it's almost like two boxers going into a ring and instead of doing this, they're shoving each other before they even get started. But the two teams did not wait for that bell to ring. As the Hurricanes were leaving the field, an ugly few moments down there in the end zone. I just remember, whatever story you're going to hear them tell, I know we were in the end zone and they came back out of the tunnel to push us on the field and we turned around and pushed them back. Pushing and shoving broke out. There was some kicking. One man with front row seats to the prize fight was Bill Belinsky. He's a former Notre Dame beat writer turned sports editor for the South Bend Tribune. If you ask him who threw the first punch, he still can't tell you. It was he said, he said. And Coach Holtz basically said, you know, leave the buck kicking, you know, on the field between the whistle and at the end of the game, leave, you know, Jimmy Johnson's ass for me, which he did say. Absolutely, <laughs> you did say it. And it was a great game. A great game that words still can't describe. All I remember when that game was over and, and I'm done with my interviews, coming up, staring at a screen going, no matter what words I put on paper here, it's just not going to work. It was that good.